So you want to create a WADA background image. You want to include these images to your uh, website. So let's. Uh, I will demonstrate you using this example. So here we go. Here is image. Let's save it. Okay. Let's save it. Then let's go to our WordPress website. You should add container. Uh, I suggest you to add this one. And here we should uh, click on container settings. Go to background, upload image. Click on upload files and select your image what you have downloaded. So it will upload to WordPress website. I will remove old one. So image selected. Make sure size is full size. Click on insert in the page. So here it is. You can uh, also mm, select here uh, how you would like to display it. So center or center top. We will leave it center center. So let's click on save. Mm, and I will add text there. So here is my text. I will add it. Old one I will delete container. So here is our new container. So here we, sh we added background. Here we will add text element. Here is our text. Click save. Let's uh, add a uh, separator range. Uh, so this, let's click on save. Uh, make sure to select here template 100%. And here, page, uh, zero pixels, zero pixels. Also, we will uh, remove, we will not display header and footer section also will be not displayed. So let's click on update and let's see what we what we got there. So page refresh. Let's click on open a new tab. Here is here what we have. We need to add uh, more margin here. To do so, let's click on. Uh, Edit up design here we can include margin so let's add 100 pixels refresh and check refresh page now we got margin but we need to add more also this text is not visible so let's add one more background here so let's Add margin first, top and bottom. Save and uh, let's add uh, background color for this container. So let's select white and make it transparent like this. So let's click on save. Uh, one more detail, we should add also padding, so to display usual 20 pixels is enough. Click on save. And refresh. So, here is how it looks like. Uh, full with container with the background. Now we can uh, increase uh, text size and make this corners around it so let's decrease these container sizes and increase this container size like this let's in, uh, increase text size okay let's save it and now we want to add CSS ID. Just type here any name. Click on update. Go to appearance teams. I don't know. A lot of teams options. 
and go to custom CSS file. Here we should add the following code in order to round borders. Let's refresh and as you can see everything is good now. We can also add here uh, separators in order to uh, make more size or we can increase padding size. So let's simply add uh, separators. Let's click on edit page again. Click on element, type here is a separator. Here it is. Go to design options, uh, separator color, make it transparent, margin let's say 20 pixels or even 30, border size 0, and click on save. Now let's uh, clone element and add it on the top. Now let's refresh page. And let's check what we got there. So here is how it looks like. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to check my other videos.